Alright, we are back again. Let's see here. I forgot to turn on my camera. There we go. <clears throat> Alright, so this time we're going to go right back into it. Moonlight. Pulled out my headphone a little bit there. All right, so we're right back at it where we left off, where the shop is ready to be opened. I think we can make a little bit more money, no more inventory in our pockets. I think we can try to sell some of this really quick. And then when we run out of inventory, we'll turn around and turn and burn. Ah, uh, we got some inventory. Right, oh. Yeah, let's just sell all that. There we go, we're already getting a customer, okay. Hmm. Ten thousand right there on one sale. All right. <laughs> That was a big payout. I like that payout. <clears throat> uh, okay, not a huge fan of selling those. Let's try to sell something a little bit more expensive. There we go. Six hundred, nice. <clears throat> uh, oh, yeah. Make a pretty good penny back from these guys. Beans, yep, they did it. Ah, it'll be getting dark soon here in a minute. Touche. Okay, let's see. Nope, someone just found something they like. There we go. There we go. What's going on? I'm just trying to get some last minute selling of my items before I go back into the dungeon to find some more items. <clears throat> okay, they're not happy about that plate. Hey, what's going on, man? Just hanging out, trying to sell some of these items before I go back into the dungeon. Oh, I didn't mean to grab all of them. Uh, I guess I did. No, it's not this table. Oh, I didn't sell anything yet. Uh, yeah, we're trying to. Sell, I'm trying to sell some of these items really quick, so this way I can go into the dungeon, get some more, come back, and then make more money, hopefully. And it's about to get dark anyway, so they're gonna close, and then I can run out the door and go adventure. I mean, I like it so far. It's it's pretty nice mix. I never thought I'd like a game about running, you know, a store. Um, I haven't had the DLCs and I haven't beaten this game yet. But uh, from what I've seen so far, is the only thing I would say I'd like to see from it is the fact that I can go to like another town or 
you know, the adventuring aspect, I guess, uh, of older school RPGs, you know, top down like this, uh, like Golden Sun for the Adva uh, Game Boy Advance. I used to love that game. Um, other than that, I think it's really cool. I like the aspect of trying to figure out like that guy doesn't like the price, you know, I think it's really cool. Uh, I'm liking it so far. I like the fact that I could be a merchant or a, you know, an adventurer uh, or a hero as I call them. Uh, so I, I like it so far. And then restocking the shelves and getting ready for the next day after I come back is also nice. Just a nice touch. <clears throat> I got a few indie games on my backlog that I'm trying to work my way through. And this is just the first one that I, I pretty much started working on. Have you played this game before? Have you gotten your hands on it? Because I never heard of the game until recently. Uh, and that's why I decided to pick it up. Because I've been getting pretty heavy into indie games this year. So I know that this is like, I think, two years old, I think, off the top of my head. Oh, I think I need to go up here to talk to, to him. Oh, it's closed. Yeah, everything's closed at night. Go figure. It makes sense. <clears throat> oh, I can just go up. That's right. I know that I, uh, I try to, I'm trying to complete the game while at the same time, you know, obviously trophy hunting and stuff like that. So, you know, there's a lot of things that I, c I should be going out of my way to complete right now, but nah, I can come back and play again. I have no problem playing this game again. Nah, I'm not really paying attention. Ah! Well, I, oh, hang on. That's awesome. I mean, that's if, if you're looking to see some new indies, then well, not, not new in the sense that it's like it just came out, but uh, you know, I've I've got a few on backlog. This one that I'm playing through now, and then I've got Children of Morta. Uh, I got another game called Below, and then I got another game, um, Star Renegades. So <clears throat> those are my backlog right now. I've obviously I've started playing Below and. Uh, Children of Morta, but I haven't played Star Renegades yet. They all look really good. They are, I mean, Children of Morta and Below are really good. Um, I have some videos on Below, Children of Morta, and so far I've had a lot of fun playing them, and I can't wait to get done with this. Oh, they're I'm telling you, you can, go, you can go through the backlog of videos if you ever get the time, and you can see some of the, the short gameplay that I got of them. So right now what I'm trying to do is every every dungeon that you see me in uh, has three levels. The, th the third level has the final boss. Every level has a boss, uh, but the third level is like the tough boss for the end. And you're supposed to get all these keys. And like, I don't, I don't want to take the chance of falling down there, but you can go down below. You throw a rope down or something like that and you can come back. But you can see here there's a map and it kind of just, I mean, it's down, dirty, and simple, but it's also really unique in a sense that uh, every it changes every dungeon is the same there is no permanent layout uh, i would say if i get if i could complete this i'd be halfway because there's four dungeons the fifth one being the final one so i would say maybe like 40 percent of the way through the game um so but then again there's dlcs but the the original game i would say i'm about 40 percent of the way through uh, if I can finish this, I'd probably be about 50. So then they all drop stuff, and I'm able to sell that later into, you know, in my store. Uh, <clears throat> which I'll show you again here, once we're done doing this run through of the dungeon. Now the downfall is, so here's your inventory. Uh, you know, obviously the bag is on the bottom and the top is my belt. If I die at any point in the dungeon, then everything in my bag is dropped and it's gone. 
Uh, everything that's in my belt, I keep though. So uh, I can spend 800 to go back to town and have, you know, start over again. Or I can pay 4,000, which changes every level you go to. But 4,000 gold, and it opens a portal to where I can come out, go to town, drop my stuff off, and then go back into the portal and be right where I was at. Uh, and I'll show you that here in a minute where the, the, the price goes up, you know, the more loot I have and the deeper I go. that this is basically one of the trophies is to it you know it tells a story as you go there was another adventurer uh yeah essentially that is exactly what it is i can either quick travel back uh where i have no way of getting back i have to start over but i get all the loot that i wanted or i you know make a portal wherever i'm standing and then i can come back later and i've noticed i don't know if it's i don't know how to confirm it without looking it up but when I use the portal to go back to town and I come back, the map is revealed to me. It's odd. I don't know why that is, but the whole map will be revealed. So all those doors that you see that don't have, you know, a room above it or next to it is instantly revealed and it shows me where everything is at. It doesn't make sense. I don't know. I don't know why it does that. Um, but then there is an adventurer or a merchant that comes into this building and that's, or into the dungeons, and that's what these books are. Is it's the story, you know, his his... Uh, reports of what have happened, you know, there have been uh, recent discovery that will change the game as we know it. I've read it. Uh, I don't want to give too much away if you ever decide to pick up the game. Um, <clears throat> but bottom line is you're a merchant just trying to sell some goods. Uh, this town used to be kind of deadbeat, you know, uh, until the portals opened up and now everyone's flooding back. You're trying to revive your, oh, I missed an item. You're trying to revive your store by bringing all the customers back. Uh, so it's really unique in that sense that you get to do both. I never thought running a shop, you know, in this. Uh, so this, in this, you know, in this world, running a shop is kind of interesting. This is a like a healing well, so I can heal here. I'm about to fight a boss, the first boss. It's pretty easy, at least in this dungeon it is. Uh, only because he's pretty much stationary. This is probably the most difficult part, is the fact that I gotta keep dodging. Yeah, I gotta keep dodging that. The next one, the next level, spits not only these, but it also drops poison, like poison puddles. Uh, but this one's fairly easy. Uh, one, because I've upgraded my, as you can see, I've upgraded some of my armor, which is right here, night, uh, night short sword and the bow. Uh, it's got a star on it because it's just like a wish list. I had to build it. You can pay less gold if you craft the item and you pay a little bit of gold or you just pay a lot of gold and they give you the item. Uh, but what I've seen from crafting items is that you have to provide the resource and then pay gold. But you can get health potions and stuff like that, either buying them or having them crafted for cheaper price. And then, you know, other items like rings or necklaces that you can wear. And then these are the, at the bottom, those are the keys that I've gotten. So every time you complete a complete dungeon, all three levels, you get the keys. Obviously, I've only completed one so far. Uh, and then this area over here is called the Merchant Mirror, which is where whatever I drop into that area, it will sell it for, you know, whatever amount of gold. It's random. So, uh, and then <clears throat> now I move on to the next level. Oh, I forgot. I just walked through. But now I move on to the next level of the dungeon, which is level two, or whatever the case, which I think it stays right here. Yeah, Forest Dungeon 2. So now I start over, the map is new again. I can either A, use the portal for 6,000, go back, put all my stuff away, and then come back and the map is revealed, or I just find my way, which I think is the best method for me, just because, again, you get a lot of loot. Oh, these guys fire off like machine gun fire. And there, there's some of that poison effect that he's dropping. The next mini boss will do that. He'll drop that poison. And then some of the items are cursed. So, <clears throat> which is, the curses are good and bad. Some are good, some are bad. Like this one says, destroys the one artifact curse in the direction shown when placed. So if I put an item here, it will destroy it. So I alleviate that just by putting it there. Unless I absolutely want to destroy something. 
Uh, this one also says the same thing. Uh, and then there's going to be some other ones that says like it duplicates it or it must be placed to the left or the right. It's, uh, it's interesting how they put, you know, more depth to this game that seems so simple over, you know, it's just a 3 or a, a 2D game. But it's, it's a lot more than that, in my opinion. Nope. There we go. Okay, so now I'm getting more items. It's getting a little trickier. So this one destroys artifact curse in the direction shown. So now I can take this, move it up here, and you just saw the curse is gone. So that's an example of what I'm looking at. Uh, this one's destroying it on return, returning to town. So I'm safe for now. Again, returning to town. Um, so what I like to do is, again, just, you know, drop them, get them out of, you know, put them to where they're not going to damage my inventory. So there actually is some kind of micromanaging to it, to where if you want to come out with the most value, so I'm already on to the next, the next boss. And again, that little pamphlet that's down there is, again, from the other individual who's been roaming the dungeons. He's been leaving notes and helping us. Um, I've already read most of them. I made it all the way to the third level of this dungeon, and then I, unfortunately, bit the bullet. <clears throat> all right, so let's see if we can... Uh, what? Okay. No, no, I was right. There is an item. So we're coming up on possibly having to use that merchant mirror. Okay, this guy has poison, so he will... This spits out poison at the same time. Ah, and I can't step on it. Ooh. Okay, Oh. No, get out of it. All right, I think I have time, I think I have time. Yes, I do, nice, nice, nice. So I think we are coming up on the point where I get to use the portal. So you get to see the portal. And my bag is a little bit more full, so I think I'm going to actually have to pay a heftier price uh, compared to... Let's find out, actually. So yes, I have to pay 8000 now, but we're going to use it anyways because I have a lot of good stuff. Make sure nothing is cursed to the effect where it will be destroyed. And then I will use it. <coughs> And now you see I have a new map again. Now pay attention because you're gonna see that map is completely exposed once I come back. It's actually pretty interesting. And I don't know why I'm not looking it up because I, I, I kind of restrict myself from looking up things. I wanna be, you know, I wanna learn the game as I go. But I definitely will use the portal on the third level. This way it reveals the map to me. As to why, I don't know, but I'm gonna use that advantage. Uh, so now we're back, it's daytime, whatever. <clears throat> what I usually like to do is go down here and just quickly figure out because this is the blacksmith uh, you are walking through that here too but uh, you can craft items which is armor uh, <clears throat> and then it tells you the ingredients and how much you have to pay so obviously you know the further I move down the game or further in you know progress I have to get more gold 96,000 gold just to pay for a pair of boots is crazy but you know at this point these items advance with the the dungeon so this is the first one I could build this, and then it goes up, progresses, progresses. Uh, and then you can add them to your wish list. So I'm trying to craft this new bow. Uh, I think I might want to do it. And I got $64,000 now, so I could do it. Matter of fact, you know what? Let's just go through with it. Uh, actually, yeah, no, nah, we'll just go through with it. Now I take it off my wish list, and now I no longer have to. Now what I do is I tag the next item so I know exactly what I'm looking for. One of the trophies is to get, you know, build all this. So it's a little bit of a grind, but it's well worth it, I think, in the end, so I can plan on the game. <clears throat> so now what I'm gonna do is I'll drop all my stuff off in the inventory, and then we'll go from there. Uh, this way, I made bank with just one run, and I'm only on the third dungeon, or the third level. I have my chest up here that has crafting material that I may possibly use for later. Uh, put that aside. And then this is like, you use these as crafting, you know, rich jelly, venom jelly. Those are used for crafting potions, which, you know, maybe we'll look in here, into here in a second. 
Uh, I want to do a little bit more dungeon diving because <clears throat> I think the shop portion of it is... Oh, I opened the shop. That's my fault. I meant to exit out. But you know what? That's a great opportunity for me to show you a good portion of the game because this is the other half of the game. So everyone comes in. They want to shop. The arrow next to there. So they give you a facial expression and stuff like that. Uh, oops, I didn't mean to do that. So I'll show you really quick. You open up your book. This shows you everything. It shows you the value. Obviously, the face with money signs on the eyes means it's a deal for them. Like, it's a steal. And then the smiley face means, like, they're, you know, they're happy to buy it. They're looking for it anyways. The, uh, you know, like, okay, whatever face is basically it's a high popularity item. And they're going to buy it even though it's a high price for them. And then, obviously, the last face is, like, that's just too expensive. I'm not going to buy it. So what's cool is that you get an item on here and you don't know the value of it. So for example, this mushroom, I don't know because no one's bought it yet. So I put a random price with it and then I have to wait and see what they say. So that's what a lot of this is. See, they're all saying it's kind of too expensive, right? So I know for a fact that this one is a little too expensive. So this is where you have a lot of control over the game. I am gonna drop it to about 800 and see what that gives me. <clears throat> so that guy just saw me change the price and he seems pretty happy with it. And then, boom, I got 1040 out of it because that tip jar right there, I get a tip. And I upgraded the shop. It used to be just the four tables over there. Uh, <clears throat> well, now that we've got the shop open, I'm, I'm going to go pick up the inventory. And thieves will walk in here too. So if you're not paying attention, thieves will walk in. And they will try to run out with something. If you don't, you have to you have to roll into them like that. But it'll tell you. It'll show you above their head, like possible thief. So, but anyways, before I, I you know I put uh, an item on the shelf, and you know if there's already a price that pops up, it means I probably already sold it. But I always go back and check, like it's a neutral popularity, and 60 is the price range. So. I'm going to leave it where it's at because it's not a high priority or a high popularity item. But I will hike up the price for high popularity items. This one, again, is neutral. I sold it for 300 for cheap, so I'm going to hike it up to 500 and see if I get a response for more money. <clears throat> and then the majority of the game is either doing this or adventuring in the dungeon and picking up more you know, stock for your store. And there's also a trophy for making these guys wait <laughs> to the point where they get impatient and they just leave. But I'm not, I'm not trying to that one yet. Because <clears throat> I always have to beat the game in 10 hours and obviously I'm probably beyond that. Uh, maybe. I mean, I'm probably coming up in like 5 or 6 hours of gameplay, but... Actually, I'm curious if that shows me. Hmm. Curious if that shows me somewhere. <clears throat> oh, somebody bought an item from here, so let's set up that. I haven't sold that, so here's a great example, right? I don't know what the value of it is. I always aim high. I'll say 200, and then I'll just pay attention to what table they go to. I would definitely say the downfall of this portion of the gameplay, my critique would be, <clears throat> as you can see here in a second, once I pull out of the menu, all the prices over the items. So sometimes it's kind of hard to see which item they're looking at when they have the face. Like right now I can tell he's going for that leaf. Okay, so he's mad. All right, so 2,000 for a leaf is too expensive. But it's like, it's like a razor leaf or whatever they called it. What did they call it? Blade leaves, there you go. So now this is just a lot of paying attention and seeing what everybody says. Okay, so those seeds are still going for just, wow, okay. Let's cut the price in half. I've been struggling with these things all day <laughs> to get the seeds to sell. <clears throat> we got one. Oh, wow, the blade leaves are still too much. Cut it in half. Okay. The, what is this one right here? Pure acid, cut it in half. Oops. Oh, 
right. 250 for the blade leaves. I figured the blade leaf was actually an exotic item just because of the fact that, you know, I only had one pop up. It wasn't that much, so. Finally, an item sold. It's 250 really. That's a touchy price range, then. So that's kind of where I like this game, is because it's really a big learning curve, right? Like, you, you're like, wow, let's see the dirt cheap. Okay, there you go. 50. 50 just for the seeds alone. Uh, I obviously haven't sold these pods. Fluid Vessel. We'll always start with a thousand for my lowest guesstimate. Mushrooms are still really cheap, apparently. All right. There we go. Now we're getting some things to fly off the shelves. Right before we close. Go figure. Right before we close. Okay. <clears throat> Give me something for that pot. What? No way. Okay. So I almost... Wow, those pots are more expensive than what I thought. Okay. He walked off with a deal. So be it. I love it when I put an item on the shelf and it's where I get a price. Because it usually means that I've sold that item and I've kind of buffed out like what range is good for this item. Alright, so these guys are still kind of, okay. Last sale of the night. Thank you. 3900 and then after the night closes, we go over our stock and we see what we made out with. I didn't have any thieves come in. That's nice. Six thousand, nice. So now my favorite part is just restocking it. As long as I got something on the shelves to make money with as quickly as possible once I come back. Now the seeds don't really make much, but that's fine. Now my inventory is almost empty again. So again, <clears throat> kind of falls back on I've got to go back to the dungeon. You know, blah blah blah. Uh, so let's go out here and I'll show you the, uh, the town really quick. So the town started out with nothing. Obviously this is your shop, you know, the Moonlighter. Uh, this is the board, you know, this is where you can either buy a town or you can go into the town or you can focus on your shop. So I can upgrade my shop, which I've already upgraded once, which is this. You can see the layout right there in the top right. I can upgrade it again. Now I have eight tables, two additional tables, top left and right. And then I will get two chests to go with it. So it's 60,000 just for that. And then you can also upgrade your register, cash register, which clearly what I did, right? You get a cheap sale box, which is probably what I should do. Uh, and then you can obviously build your way down there. Um, Well, that's nice. I wish I would have known that and get extra health. I, you know, so reading into this really is interesting. And then obviously the big shebang for the last shop is like my ultimate goal. Or you can upgrade the shops in the area. So I've got all three of these top ones, which this guy, uh, he sells, you know, goods across the board. She sells, you know, um, potions and stuff like that or she can fix your not fix your gear but make your gear stronger and then he sells you know basically uh he's the blacksmith so he sells you your weapons and stuff like that but they're located you know all these buildings will probably get used up i can't wait to get through the game so i can play the dlc and see how that looks so i can enchant my gear which is basically just upgrading it to be honest or I can get potions. I can either pay for the potion or I can craft it and pay for it with a cheaper price. That's actually not a bad deal. These reveal the map or they will show me a way to go with the map. So one's cheaper 
one's more expensive one reveals the whole map one just guides me to the boss which is you know both are have their benefits so now what I'm gonna do is I'm probably gonna go back to that portal because I forgot we had that portal open I don't think there's ever a time limit on the portal so it shouldn't be closed nope it's not I still got my buddy all right so here we go. <clears throat> now what I do like about the game, now see, again, the map is revealed. So this is, yeah, 0% exploited. Sorry, I had to check something really quick. So 0% exploited, but you can see obviously there's different, uh, I can go find these exact chests which I'm probably going to go to the right first and then come back. I'm not going to push too far to the right and then up. I'm going to go for that purple chest, that gold chest, those two gold chests, the healing, and then I'm going to go for that last boss. Uh, I don't think I've actually seen the last boss yet, so I'm actually pretty excited about this. Nope. Ah. Kind of got me stuck over here. Okay. Really want that chest. Nope. Oh, I jumped right into him. Okay, go figure. Hey, what's going on? All right, so... All right, there we go. I'm so mad at the fact that I have to go and... Oh, wait, this is bank. This is actually... Oh, there's a oh there's a new piece of equipment in there. So this will actually be interesting to look at. Uh, anti-poison. That's exactly what I need. And I'm really glad that I found the anti-poison ring. Because, let's see. Ring with enough antidote inside to make it where immune to poison. That's what I've needed this whole time. That's amazing. What does this one do again? So it boosts my health. So I basically just took that ring off and it cut my health. What is the other one I got? Black cat ring that cancels any fall damage or slowing effect. I'd rather exchange this one. All right. So there we go. Let's make sure that nothing is affected by the curse. All right, now I'm a little worried only because of the fact that, hey, I've got, I got hurt. Oh. Now oh, I walked right into that one. Ah. Whoo. Might be who of me. Okay, there we go. Uh, let me check the map. Oh man, I'm gonna have to push through two of them. Okay, let's see here. Now I'm a little concerned, only because I mean I got enough to go back again. I just don't know if I really want to. Or risk it for the biscuit and lose all this hard work that I put in. I think we will just pay another 8000 and go back. Uh, now knowing what, you know, the layout of... So let's just go back, heal, and then, you know, drop off these items. I think that's a really good idea, only because I don't want to lose all this hard work. Yep, go back to town. So my first concern is one, I'm not opening up the shop this time, even though I would love to, but I definitely want to get as much product as I can and defeat this dungeon. I think the next area is sand. Uh, I've had Golem, 
you know, rock. I've had jungle, which is the one I'm in now. And then I have, what is this? Oh, it's a bird. And then I have the sand. So I think I need to move to the next. Oh, I forget. You can't just run into it. I think I need to move on to the next one. Uh, I think the fifth dungeon is obviously like the the final, the finale of the game. Uh, so the game realistically, to, in my opinion, if you could beat it in 10 hours, actually isn't that long. Um, I wonder if they're back, if they spawned again. You little... Nope. I don't know where you think you're going. Nope. There we go. This upgraded bow has done the trick for sure. Oh, and... Oh, I bet you that's where you can get your grunt. Oh, okay, no, it's empty. I was going to say, man, if it just keeps resetting, I just keep grinding it like that. Oh. Yeah, you almost got me. Nope, don't think so. Ah, you got me though. Nope. 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 Uh, okay. Oh, there's another door. Next chest. Here we go. Here we go. Ha-ha-ha! Nope. Clearly the pet that I have following me is the exact same thing that I just fought. Which is kind of cool to me. Boom, boom, boom. Ah, so some of those had good effects. So that, what you just saw on the top left, was the effect of that curse sends that item, you know, to the top, right, bottom, left, or whatever the case might be, straight to... Um, let's see if it says this one. Nah, that one's not too bad. But, uh, it sent them straight to the shop. So it went straight to the chest. This one's cool because I can duplicate this item in a sense. So if I have seeds like that, for example, that I don't really care to have, I can duplicate this item if it's a valuable item. Uh, like, let's see, what is this one to... Yeah, it destroys. Okay, I don't want to destroy anything. Nothing really more of any value to me besides killing people. So I'm going to move back over and go back up top to try to get some more out of this map. <clears throat> and we still have plenty of room in our inventory. And the only real reason I care about defeating the boss in this one is so that I can move on. And I hope he's not too crazy. Wait a minute, I don't think he can poison me anymore, right? That's right, I'm worried about these poison pits. See, it, the game's got me all messed up now. Alright, what does this one say? Artifact and erection shown becomes this artifact, same thing. If I receive too many hits, it breaks. Wait, what does that one say? It destroys one artifact. Put that one there, yep. Yeah. yeah. I don't know what I want to do with that. That curse yet. That's what I've been calling it. I don't know if that's, you know. Yeah, I'm trying to def defeat that. Ah. Ha-ha! Oh, no way. No. I think I'm going to die in this one. Oh, no. All right, let's get out of there. No! Foo, 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 boy, that guy got close. Nope. 
Man, this guy is jumping all around like a crazy man. Yeah, I don't know if I want to fight him. Nope. Oh. Okay. Woo! We made a pretty good, good payout right here. What does this one do? It destroys, yep. It destroys its curse. So guess what? Bloop. Yep, we're gonna delete that one. What does this one do? Directly shown to the item. Okay, so this one's gonna send whatever item to the left. Watch. Boom, went straight to the chest. That's pretty cool. I like that. So they really made the game in depth. I mean, like, they put some thought into it. I think I'm, I'm definitely gonna go back. Right? Yeah. I don't want to chance the next level. I mean, I'm really one shot. I'm really gonna get hit, and I don't want to take that chance. So at this point, I mean, in my honest opinion, I think the payout is way bigger to teleport back really quick, and then just come back really quick and just fight our way in. I think, in my opinion, that's the best method. I'll drop my items off, come back. Actually, I won't. We'll take this time to ensure that we're going to beat this guy. And we're going to get two or three potions. I think I have enough material, and I definitely have enough gold, to make two or three potions happen for health. Because we already have the map. Uh, my inventory is uh, pretty much full already. So I'm actually going to have to turn around and start processing all this stuff. Wait, wait, no, 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 no. I put, I took everything out. <laughs> Dummy over here. I always get this kind of mixed up. I put everything in my bag. There we go. Thank you. All right. I may need some of that, though, in order to assist with making the potions. All right. Or at least making them cheaper. That's how I see it. You can either help craft it and pay a little bit of gold for their efforts, or you pay just gold. Uh, uh, which I like that concept. Uh, tell me, I was gonna say, tell me you're asleep when I need you the most. Mm -hmm. So potions. So here it says 40 health, or you do 75 health. Clearly that takes, requires one, one, that's why I've been saving them up, because now I'm only paying 760. So that's 75 health. 200 health, which is majority of mine. I don't have the requirements, so I had to have to pay 7,600. So I think it might be a good idea to actually buy one of these. Yes, I will take one of those potions and then I will also take one of these potions. Actually, you know what? No, I don't want, to, I don't want that many. We'll take two. At this point, I just wanna move on to the next dungeon and make more income. So that's exactly what we're gonna do. We're gonna focus on getting that uh, you know, income. We're gonna make sure that we get past this next dungeon because the next one will unlock after I complete this one. So here we go. I'm really excited about this. Um, just because I'm, I'm <laughs> I've been, I've been grinding this dungeon today uh, for a while. Uh, ever since, I think I, got, I think I got to it last night. So really it's not that bad, it's not like I'm stuck on it. I definitely have to fight these guys again, which is perfectly fine. Make sure I have my sword. Moo! Hey! think so take that out there all right next one no I went the wrong way oh actually I forgot there's a health fountain before I even fight the boss so I can I can take a few hits actually never mind I'm already at the health fountain all right uh, it's always like, I don't know, it's a rewarding feeling to me. I don't think I've read this one. Who are these people? Okay. 
Okay. Oh, one more, one more area to fight, which I can always come back to this room once I beat the next room, and I'm gonna do just that. Why? Because this. No. Oh wait. The... <laughs> okay. He he fell through on his own. All right, now I'm a little, I'm a little nervous just because, you know what? Actually, wait, I'm glad I mentioned that. Uh, so one potion goes in there, so I can use it with R, R2. Um, and then I have two more of these potions. So one, I wanna make sure these potions are up here so if I die, I don't lose them because anything on my belt, and which is a lot of potion stuff. Uh, I haven't seen him yet, so here we go. It's not looking good. So oh, oh no. Oh no. Oh boy. Oh man, I didn't know that was coming. All right. Oh man, all right, this is a challenging one. Oh. Nope, nope. Wait, ah, dang it. Nice. Get rid of him. No. Nope. 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 Okay, this guy's not. Nah, I walked into it. There we go. No, come on. You know what, we're gonna use it anyways. There we go. All right. Uh, I think. All right, I think I found. Aha! Ah. All right, this might be a little bit of a grind. Dang it. Oh, you can't go into your, oh no, there's no what. So then what was the point? Oh man, that really puts some pressure on me now. Nope. 
Nope, 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 nope. Ah. What did I hit? See, so everything in my inventory now goes away. Man, that. Now, if I hit play again, it just sends me back into the dungeon. Um, which, I mean, I can do. There's no point, you know, play again, right? I'm, but I'm going to start from level one again. So if I had known I can't open my bag, one that. Oh my god, that's just that's upsetting to know that I, I bought this this thing for no reason. I mean now I've got it, so it's really not, you know, wasted in a sense, but if I had known that to begin with, I wouldn't have done it. I would have bought a a good amount of these rather than just dang it, that really dampers it. But that's alright. Like I said, it's a little bit of a grind, and I can see why that trophy for, you know, beat the game in 10 hours is such a... why it exists to begin with. Yeah, I've already read everything that I need to read. Now I just need... Ah, I probably could have pushed on through one of those doors. Wait. Aha! Yes, I am, you know, able to run through poison now. This makes the game so much easier on this level. Oh, hey, what's up? I'm not going to use the potions that I have. Okay, so there... Okay, so I, I don't know exactly what these are that you're looking at right here. I think what it is, is it's a, it's a bleed over. It bleeds over from one dungeon to the next. So that's clearly, it looks like a sand temple to me. To me. I'm pretty sure I'm right, but um, I've gone into one, right? It, it's got the glowing around it, and I think what that glowing is is like it's the new, another realm, the portal into another realm, like I jump through all the time. So I'm going to run in here because I think it's going to have some valuable items in here. I think that this is going to be my favorite dungeon. Um, you know, if... Oh, man, he... Okay. No, I definitely want the items from here. There's another door. Ah, okay. Whoa, hey, everybody calm down. Everybody calm down. You guys are popping off. Yep. If you have it and you don't listen, whatever. All right, so there's nothing else to offer me over here. So let's go back to where we were coming from, and I'm sure we can get right back to the boss. It's so nice to be able to run through the poison now, honestly. Like, that's my, my bright side of this. That guy gave me a lot. Oh no! See, I, it's funny because, like I said, if I, you know, I pretend like I can't fall into these, that book goes for like five thousand, at least, maybe even more. Oh, um, I'm not sure exactly what this means. I mean, climb back up. That's the first time I've ever seen that. So I'm actually interested in seeing what that is. Oh, it says it's still down there. Hang on. Yeah, I want to go back down there. I'm kind of interested in what... Is he coming back here? Okay, I don't understand. <laughs> I don't understand, but okay. So 
Sucker. So this is a dead end, it looks like. Oh, oh no. I don't understand and it kind of like freaks me out. <laughs> like... I definitely don't understand. Is this guy gonna like fight everybody or is it just me that he's gonna? <laughs> You, I don't understand. No, nope. face it away. What is it? It's like the real question. I'm not waiting to find out. <laughs> nope. Um. I have no idea what this is. Oh! Yo! It one-shots you. That's fucking crazy. But why? But why? That's crazy. I just don't understand. I, I wish that it would, like, open up and tell me. I'm not gonna up, but God, man, that just upsets me. If I had known that he's gonna one-shot me, nope, you're gonna die right away. Yep, I'm tired of those machine gun guys. That's they honestly like they just rip me a new one so easily. Nope, nope. All right, let's just get some more inventory, and we can see how much money we can make off of the. Uh... Oh, hey. That up, that up, pick that up, pick that up, pick that up, pick that up. I mean, yeah, I guess the the pot would be a, uh, an artifact, so that does sell for a pretty... Well, I mean, I think my buddy hit him, but I, I one-shot at him. Ha, ha, ha. All right. Let's see. <clears throat> Let's get over here. Yep. No. No. Oh, how? And, ah, that's... There's no way. Come on. Give me that item. Hopefully the fountain of youth is up here. Nope. All right. Hopefully we get a good payout this time. Hopefully I'm not dumb. Just, I mean, I did a lot. I did... Wait, what's down here? Oh, all of his writing and stuff. I did a lot of work just to get to that last boss and to find out that I was going to get my... Essentially my shit pushed in, but... Okay... Again, my inventory is getting filled up. Oh, I'm coming out like a thief with these uh, these leaves, whatever they are. And what's cool is you can go back to the other, you know, dungeons and you know dive into those dungeons and get. 
you know, more equipment that you need. Obviously, I think you have to do that in order to finish the other items that you need to, to complete, you know, the game in a sense or get all the trophies. Doesn't even get a chance. Uh, I'd probably kill me off too as quickly as possible. Now, I wonder what that thing is called. That's probably what that guy's notes are about. Makes sense. Right. Oh, cool. You could. Okay. That's fine. Oh, he didn't hurt me, though. Touche. Let's go see what's in this chest. As you can clearly see now everything oh yeah, that was that curse is lifted. Destroys an artifact's curse. So now you get to see where I have to use, you know, this merchant mirror. I got twenty bucks from that. And I got ten bucks from that. It's just randomly you know, thrown in there. All right, so let's see where everything on the map. Yep, I've already read that. It's dead end. You know what? Oh, okay, so this one is a dead end. Okay. <laughs> Some of them I've, I've yet to see. Get him, get him! Hey! Hey! Oh, I'm full up. If it shimmers, if there's like shiny shit at the bottom of this, then you can go down there. But apparently there is none, so I'm not gonna go down there. Could always use more. No, 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 no. I am full up. Nope. See if there's anything of value in here. Yeah. So even if like I'm running low, I you know, I have no inventory, I'm not gonna waste my gold. Uh, I have a full inventory back. You know where we came from. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in here, see what I can get out of this. So at this point, I'm trying to find the healing fountain, as I call it, uh, to go up to the next boss. Before using my potion. Yep, I'm gonna use it right here because now I'm dangerously close. I don't really care at this point about there it is. Whoo! Always so rewarding to see this thing. Alright. No, 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 no. There. 
That's that was the point that I was trying to get to. That's what I was trying to get to. Now, the cool thing is, is that I can make another portal. It will reveal the map, and yes, it will be down a lot of money, but I have a massive inventory we can sell right now. And that is what I'm looking at trying to do. So let's do that. Let's go back. Yeah, it's going to show me my reports. Look at all those enemies I've destroyed. Okay, let's go back. Man, I, I didn't think that the second one was going to be this tough, but... Alright. Actually, before we go any further, open up this door. Because <laughs> I got a full inventory. Matter of fact, let's go put the potion stuff back in my personal chest at the foot of my bed. And you know what? Pick up some more items. So, so this way I don't have to go back here that often. Penny. I'm mad that I lost that green book, but you know, it's fine. I guess. I accept it. I, I took the risk. I paid the price. That's what I like about the game, is that ultimately when you lose everything, it, if you have the money and the, the means of getting back, you took the chance. You're the one to blame. No one else is to blame. Yes, this wealthy man right here. Is gonna take my leaf with water in it. 6,500. Thank you. I just made up for my trip back. Man, the shelves are just. Everything's flying off the shelves. Alright. Yeah, the shelves are pretty much empty. While you're angry looking at my prices, I'm gonna go back here and oh, there's the the money makers. These pamphlets, yeah, those are the money makers. I should be selling them. So I'm glad some of these things are selling now. No, sell. I would get thirteen thousand from those alone. Those are 500 a pop, so it's not. Those ones on the lower tables aren't, you know, that big of a hit. 5,000 for that. I should have thought about that. Do I have any more of those? I do. I'm going to crank that up to 7,000. That's ridiculous that he's happy about that being 5,000. Or no, wait. I don't understand. Anyways, we're gonna crank it up to 2,000 and see what he says about that. That, oh, 17,000. We just made 17,000 in one purchase. That is awesome. What else is selling for some big money? There it is. Dang it. Those pamphlets that I had. He, he said, wow, I'm happy they're only 2,000. That's cheap. All right, whatever. Yep, I know those go for somewhat of a pretty penny. Whew, the beans, yes. Really, the mushrooms, man? The mushrooms are still pissing everybody off? God makes sense to me. I mean, I guess it does. It's mushrooms. Like, I'm not gonna pay that much for mushrooms. No way. I just... Alright. Nice. I'm happy about that. Let's check the prices and everything. Yeah. Okay, so everyone's saying that a thousand... 
Let's put this at 600 for the roots. What about the mushrooms that are high? And they're still saying that's high. We'll drop it to 150. So this game is, in a sense, like, it's like doing your homework, you know? You're like, you gotta understand that people are gonna react to something and you have to look into that reaction. Uh, so it's really interesting. You know, that's why this game is really fascinating to play and it's a lot of fun because you have to pay attention. You can't just button smash. Uh, and if you want to make money fast, I'm assuming beating the game in 10 hours means that I'm going to have to understand the market. I'm going to understand how to quickly adapt to make the money. But then again, I see like that as a last trophy where I can just barely skim by to beat each dungeon and I'm done with the game. So... I'm definitely getting all the trophies that make sense as a grind in this run and this save file. And then I'll, I'll go back and play it again from scratch. And I think it's really fun. It's really exciting to think about platinuming this game because this is a masterpiece for, in my opinion. Like it is a beautiful, simplified masterpiece where I'm getting enjoyment out of it. I'm sure other two have played it, have as well. It's just such a easygoing, simplistic game. Uh, magic Wood. I'm going to hike the Magic Wood up to 2,000. It's probably a wrong answer, but eh, I don't really care. <laughs> because eventually they're going to tell me, like, look, look at this one, 60. But is it in high popularity? So I'm going to hike it up to... 70. An extra 10. Ooh, wow, what a big payout. But, uh, you know, in this game it kind of is. Black Cat Amulet, I would put that on there for like 10,000 and then see if they even buy it. But for now, I've got other items that I can put on the rack. Okay, that was the end of the day. Uh, no thieves again. 77,000. I'm trying to get to the triple digits. Well, yeah, obviously I'm beyond triple digits, but I'm, I'm looking, you know, to look in 100,000 price tag for uh, every day uh, and then eventually more so I got quite a few items in my inventory really quick I think I go up here and toss them and I still had uh, quite a few items to go on the shelf okay you 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 yep 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 Yep, yep, yep. Hmm, all right, let's go. I got 80,000. Oh, sorry. Oops, 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 oops. I still have the gate, and I can just go straight to the boss, to be honest. So what I could do is hike up uh, all the potions. Matter of fact, let's go back, because I'm not, I'm not done until I complete this. I wonder if I could use another uh, companion. I don't want to say pet, but yes, a companion. Uh, the reason why I say that is because if I can get another companion, I have one that poisons them. And these turrets might get hurt by the turrets that he drops. So here's all the guys that I have that can help. Uh, so he unable to shoot a constant stream. Okay, and then I have slime. So it gives the poison effect to my weapon. I'm gonna hire the one that gives me the poison effect. Why? Because one, I get to poison them. <laughs> but whoever I hit gets poisoned, so I'm gonna have to hit the turrets and get out. Hit the turrets and get out. And then I'm buying like, shit, six more of these potions. Just so I can go in there and get this guy over with. Oh my god. Uh, you are definitely not. Oh, that's cool. I never knew that tall grass I could run through. I was never paying attention to that. <laughs> no, no, no. Okay. Uh, I forgot that I could just.
All right, since I can only have five in my hand at a time or on my belt or whatever the case might be, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go put the other ones away really quick. Along with the, the crafting material for it because, you know, God forbid I die again, I don't wanna lose all of that. All right, here we go. I'm so ready to be through the, the forest one. It's just funny because it's not like I spent a week on this. It's not like I've been grinding on the forest for so long. It's just the fact that I'm ready to see the next one and dive into those bosses. So, whoo, straight up, got it. Yep, I'm killing you first, man. Just a straight fact. Get some items. I got a good feeling about this. Now my little buddy kind of just confuses me. Straight to the yes. All right, how about this one? Okay, so you're gonna go down there. That's yeah, a pretty good spread so far. Nah, you little shit. <laughs> I tried to jump out of the way. No, ah, uh, man, I tried to jump. Okay, all right. Ha ha I'm doing some damage now, and my little buddy is just kind of like hanging out down there. <laughs> He's just like, yeah, take that shit. Immediately sends the artifact. So here's what we do. I want that to go back, yes. And then... I want to send the one that I just... <laughs> hell yeah. So they all have their benefits. Yep. You guys go back. This way, if I lose, then I got everything that I need. No. All right. Oh, hibbity, 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 hibbity. Alright, yep, heal me up, heal me up. This guy drops the same little turrets that this boss drops, so. Here we go. I only got four. No, wait. Haha. <laughs> oh, wait. I... Alright. Alright. I need to do. I got four of those potions now. The four potions that only heal 75% of my health. So don't let myself. Ah. Okay. On my toes. Ah. No, I didn't mean to do that. Dive out of the way.
Oh, oh, God. Oh, oh, okay, his things hurt me. All right, got it. Oh, what? Ah, yo, no, 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 no. Wait, I don't have any? Nah, we're going back. <laughs> I'm not losing all this. Oh, man. I'm not giving up. I'm not, I'm not done until I'm done. I'm not done. I'm going to go make my way back to this guy. I'm going to get it. Oh, God, I hate... I hate using that one, but it was just the quickest one I could use. See, and then it disappears, yeah. I wonder what it looks like to build the other... Yeah, I don't even have the requirements yet, so... I would love to build one of these big swords, but I don't want to go to the old dungeon for that. Hmm. It would give me plus 75 health. You know what? Because I'm, I'm literally just going to make money and I'm just going to keep going until we get this guy. I'm not done until we at least beat this dungeon. I am not done until we... Nope. Until we beat this dungeon. I hands down refuse. And that's the next one. Um, yeah, so this is the next one that will give me more health. Nice. So now I got the green bandana on my head and the green chest and the green boots. We'll open up the shop and we'll start selling stuff again really quick so we can hopefully make more money and find more stuff to upgrade my equipment. And that's probably why I'm not making it through this. Got that weird feeling. Alright, let's take those. Yep. I wonder if everything goes to this chest. Yep. I, I figured. Alright. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, I only have one of those. Yes. Alright. Makes sense. <clears throat> I'm getting I'm getting excited in the sense that uh, I might be able to... Now that I see it, I, I probably need the equipment that is specified for the exact dungeon that I'm in. Um, so... Those, those pamphlets, I know, are making me some big money. There we go. Really? Are you still mad about these mushrooms? All right. Look. Mm, excuse me. There are 50 now. 50. There's only three mushrooms on that table. All right. She's buying those pamphlets. That's definitely going up there. I'm gonna see. Oh, wow. I'm gonna see if I can crank these up to 4,000. Wait, don't leave, lady, don't leave. Don't. Baby, don't look back. Yes, I'm coming, I'm coming. I wonder. Oh, now the mushrooms. <laughs> These mushrooms have been a hassle for the longest time. All right, let's see. Really? Your sign of relief right there.
Yep, put the leaves of water up there. I know those go for a pretty penny as well as that one. I mean, a thousand per pop. If I can get more of them, that'd be great. But... Understand the mushroom is just sold. At least the ones up top. Uh oh, there. Have the magic mushroom for fifty cents or fifty dollars. Of course, the 50 gold mushrooms are a steal. But he's gonna buy them anyways, right? right? right. Hold on, hold on. He's, I got a report from him. I mean, 2,500 is too much. Okay, 1500. What about, what about this one? For the log. Okay. Oh, uh, you little. Oh, my. Fine. Fine. few things that I would like I'd so love to see in this game all right thank you yeah I had one guy take off oh god 24,000 it's just not as good as last time but fine whatever oh I had better items in here oh, that's fine the point is, I have items to sell again, so. And now I have better equipment on me. Oh, actually, I do already have potions, so I can already get set to go in there, pay $8,000, come back out, not a big deal, whatever. Pff, who cares? Yep. There we go. All right, let's dungeon dive again. Cause like I said, I am not done with this stream tonight until we get through this dungeon. find our way through here of the yonder. Oof. Oof. That was quick. One and done. And I, wow, wait a minute. I took damage and I barely got hurt? Is this... Okay, so I can build a new item. That's already a good sign. 
Let's, let's decide each area. Oh man, this has turned out to be a pretty sweet deal. Okay, oh man, we're okay. I think we found a secret to the game. One, the pets effects. Two, equipment. And three, and well, equipment. That's just actually it. Upgrade your equipment for each dungeon. Tips and tricks. Can't get much easier than that. Ah, oh, look at that. Now I'm one shot in these guys. All right. Wow, this the gear has completely made a difference. It really has. What does this one do? Destroys an artifact curse. Boom. Yo, I can take a hit now. Okay. Ah. Uh, okay, maybe not that much of a hit. Like, come on, man. Calm down. Let me, let me back up. Oh, shit. Nope. Ow. Hey! Hey! So at this point, I think I have what I need in order to go back, make the new piece of equipment that I need. Easy enough. Um, we should have just kept going this way, because I guarantee you it's either this one or the next one. That's gonna be the... Yep, that's what I thought. That saved me a lot. Whew. That was... Oof, oof, oof. Easy enough. Alright, uh, on to the second level. I'm, once I get to the third, I can easily just pop that portal, go get potions, come back, and probably even have a new piece of equipment. Yep, I don't think so. What is this? I mean, I just, I guess it's just an effect to make the, the game look a little bit better. Uh, you know what? I don't, I don't know. Oh, God dang it. All right. I mean, I made some money off of that really quick. You know what? We don't even have to fight them. Nice. Look at that. I didn't. I mean, look. I don't. I didn't know about it. But nope. 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 Hey, what's up, bro? Uh, at this point, I'm not worried about... Nah, ah, ah, nah, ha, ah, ah. ha. Let him hit me. Because you went nowhere. Now I'm going to use a potion. Because I'm just going to... I'm just going to use $8,000, go back... And then ride the lightning straight up, get five potions, maybe even get the expensive potions. I don't know yet. Because after I do this, I could probably pop the portal again. And actually, no, I don't want to pop the portal again. What I'm going to do is hopefully it's daytime. I can open up the shop because I think the portal stays for as long as, you know, until I go back, I think. We are already on good terms. Mm -hmm. And 
we can get the new boots. And we're gonna turn right back around. Yep, take that off. I think our job just got a hell of a lot easier. I think this next time we fight this boss is gonna be easy. One, open that shop. Move that boss. All right, yep, you're gonna come on in here. You're all tough and rowdy. Gub, 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 gub. Buy something to get out. I <laughs> picture that being the merchant. That's an adventurer too. <laughs> you reach that point where you just like battle all scarred and torn up and you're like, buy something and get out. I feel like that's definitely like the end state of, of being in this position that, he, the, you know, this guy is in. I think his name's Will or something. <laughs> I just picture that. Buy something and get out. I'm like, bro, okay, calm down, man. Okay, uh, ba -ba, ba -ba -ba -ba. all right, okay, yeah, so they've been, all right, fine, I'll lower some prices on things, if it sells my stuff quicker, yep, boom, boom. Drop those bad boys, because they've been selling like hotcakes. Thank you, that got me an 11,000 in my pocket. Okay, all right, that wasn't as much as I thought it was gonna be, but I'll take it. That's a 1,500. I wonder if I can drop, oof, there we go. And there we go. That Hello. <coughs> what is so expensive over here? Geez, really? All right, let's just drop it to a thousand and see what they say. Mm, okay. You guys are just a little too happy about that. How much for these leaves? Okay. There we go, that's what I'm talking about. Money in the bank. should be a good medium range for that item because they're not too happy about it but they'll buy it at about three or two hundred all right hold on what about these leaves too okay see i'm paying attention and i'm going back and checking these items and making sure i stay away from that high price range uh, I think we're golden. I think we're fine. So, for example, I don't think we've gotten a price range on this. A thousand, okay. What about these? Okay. Let's, I mean, if that's how petty we're going to be, I'm going to be very petty. Like... Actually, now you mentioned that I want to make sure. Yeah, I would say 1200 is like a good price range for that other item that was just up top. See, I wasn't paying attention, and another guy got away. Very intriguing. 
I really like the way they've done this game. Where it's like, <laughs> I hope you're paying attention. <laughs> you know? Uh, it's so funny. Really? You're upset about these logs. That's crazy. We're gonna drop them down to 700. I just felt like they would have sold for more. I feel like the the word magical just gives them that, that edge. Like they are more important, but I guess I'm wrong. Thief, you old jackass. Alright, let's go stock up the shelves. Actually, actually, I forgot I have a pretty extensive inventory. One, these need to get hiked up, so these are going out. <clears throat> the water, yes, is definitely getting hiked up as well. Uh, I think we could put those out there as well. Whatever the roots are. So these are looking pretty at a thousand. I see we bump them up to fifteen hundred. What's the worst that happens? They say no. And I figure out that Roger, the tight range is bright. Or pretty tight. These beats have yet to be sold. So I always start with a thousand because at least if they're, you know, a good price, then at least I'm getting a pretty good deal out of it. And this since I'm getting a thousand. These are venomous spores, so again, I'm gonna put them in a thousand. Nope, 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 nope. And the mushrooms are gonna go over here just to get them out of the inventory. <clears throat> We're gonna go make two basic standard potions again. Maybe even an extra one. I don't know yet, because we can't have five potions on hand. But if we stack the 75, 75, 75, 75, 75, we might be in business. Actually, I already have two. Let's just do three. All right. <sighs> I swear, I, if I can't get it with the increased health, the increased armor, matter of fact, I'm glad I mentioned the armor, I can look at enchantments. I have new armor, why not enchant the armor and see if that helps me? Get out of here, get out of here. Oh, can I talk to you? <laughs> okay, that didn't do anything for me. All right, hang on. That one gives me armor. Oh, that one gives me really good armor, actually. That one gives me the best armor. Yes. 
brings me down in <clears throat> what money I have in the bank, but I'm not really worried about that right now. <laughs> I'm worried about defeating this guy. I'm so over it. I'm overseeing this dungeon, and I want, oh, oops, and I want to see what's next. So here we go. And now I should be able to see the map because I'm on the third level. <clears throat> Up, left, got it. Okay, okay. Nope. Ha ha. Touche. Man, it's weird. The game's been glitching out lately because. Hang on. Nice. Hold on. And the sound gets lower when I jump into the game. Here we go. The artifact turns into this artifact. So again, duplicating artifacts. Boom, cannot lose. Oh, I didn't send a stack. Stupid. <laughs> ah! What is this one? Yeah, I really don't care about that artifact. Oh, there we go. The volume just kicked up a notch. I don't know if you're hearing it on that end, but I just heard it on this end. Oh. Ha, ha, ha. Really? Oh. Not really worried about getting hit. I'm actually kind of trying to gauge on how hard I actually am getting hit due to the fact that I want to know. So when I get into this fight, I know what I'm looking at. Get out of here. Hey, what's up? All right, one, we're gonna go use the rest of that fountain for sure. Okay, it didn't fill us up all the way, but that's okay. Don't have enough to open the portal, so it's a battle to the end. I can actually take a hit now. Yes! Prune the plant. Defeat Carnivorous Mute. Nice. Nice. Got the second key. Thank you. What is that? Yeah, give me that item. <laughs> what is this? Those are going for 20,000 pop. I don't care. I don't care what anybody says. Oh, yes. The books. One, two, and three, ladies and gentlemen. All right. So that item gets turned into it. You know what? I think we'll find these items. 
Boom, boom, boom. And everybody. Ooh. What does that ring do for us? Ring that boosts the owner's health, but also weakens their defensive power. So health, and I can't be poisoned. But let's see what the desert's going to bring. I think that's what we need to do. Everything else that's in here. First off. Yeah. I am so tired of that. You, and then you. Uh, you know what? I can sell, I can sell you. <clears throat> now this was awesome. I, I, I didn't see... I don't know why... I didn't just stay and fight to begin with. Like, it doesn't hit you. It doesn't... That's the key to it. It's the bullets that hit you. It's the projectiles that hit you. It's not the actual plant itself, unless you're standing in front of its tentacles, its vines that are hitting you. So... Yep, the second key. Yes. I'm so ecstatic. Boy! You defeated the Golem King, and now the forest guardian? You risk too much. Pushing me to a heart attack is what you are doing. Your grandfather would be worried sick if he was still around. Worried and unreasonably proud. I can just hear him. My grandson, a merchant that slays guardians. <clears throat> can you believe that? <laughs> that man as stressful as you. At the request of the town. I am to inform the desert dungeon is now open to all. Fools, we closed these dungeons for a reason. Additionally, there should be a new shop expansion on the town board. Nice. Cool. Awesome. I want to see what's new on the board. Ah, you're back in town. So I need 70,000 to get the banker, and that's what I'm really trying to get. Because I really don't care about making my shop look nice, even though, obviously, I need to. I need to buy and complete everything in the game to get the final one of the, one of the final trophies. <clears throat> so now what I really want to do is go back up here and sell some of the stuff that I just got. Yeah, I'm going to open up the shop. Like, I really want to see. Because, I mean, we got the forest history one, two, and three. We've got the ring that I don't think I want to sell. At least not yet. I'd really like to keep these rings, so I'm gonna drop that ring. Yeah. And then, what is this? Ah, it's the map that shows, yes. Okay, burglar. Shit. <clears throat> There's my chance. This book, the first one, sold for about 5,000. I'm gonna hike that up to 5,200 because I'm gonna be petty. Alright, next one. I don't know because I haven't sold one, but if that one's going for 5,200, I will sell this one for 7,200. I don't know. Okay, 5,200 it is. <laughs> oh, he's buying it, yeah. 
Please, take it. I do not care about these books. Now, here's the real question. And I'm only going to sell one of these. Because I'm really interested in seeing how many of those seeds sell for. He bought a book. Yo, no fucking way those seeds go for 5,000. That is awesome. Did I find everything in the Golem Forest? I mean, you would, besides the ring? Oh shit, I didn't find a ring. Should probably go back in there and deep dive in that motherfucker. What a shame, bruh. What a shame. 500 is too steep for you, really. Oh, 400 smack dab in the middle of it. I'm about to make some bank right here. Yep, give me those seeds. Boom. Voila. Yep, yep. You know what? I don't know why I did that, but you know what? Yes, put that money right back into my pocket. That's what I'm talking about. Keep it up. So a thousand. 1500. Alright, what about this one? Wait, oh. That one I'm gonna put for 10,000. If it's too steep, then guess what? I don't care. It specifically tells you how to defeat that one specific boss. I'm gonna put it in there. Like, bottom line. <laughs> Yo, this tells you specifically how to defeat this boss. I don't care what you think. See, I'm almost back up to 100,000, and losing 100,000 actually hurt me. But now I'm actually really excited about it. Then I'm about to hit that level again. Alright, so I got a really good understanding now of the game. Oh, that person's gear looks cool. The purple one, the, like, out trimming of blue, it looks like. <clears throat> That's actually pretty cool. Where do I get, yo, where do I get that armor? Actually, I should keep these because of the pure fact alone that uh, they're used to upgrade my gear, so. Hey, 1500 for those are still a, still a steal? Like, that's crazy. Yo, these logs I'm, are pissing me off. <laughs> Now I can't please everybody with my equipment, so. 10,000 was pretty steep for that price. We're gonna drive to 8,000. 
How much did we make? Oh, almost broke a hundred thousand. Dang it. Let's drop you down to eight thousand. because I don't want to sell it yet. <sighs> All right, well, I mean, we've had a pretty good, uh, pretty good stream so far. It looks like we've made some progress, put a dent in a lot of stuff. It looks like maybe I can buy that new guy now. 70,000, but I can't buy him yet because it's at night. So what we should do is actually give me a second really quick. All right, all right, I'm back. So now I think what we should do is dive in <clears throat> to the next one, into the sand one, right? Uh, I think that this one's gonna be pretty fun, even though I don't think poison is going to really affect me that much. So I think the poison ring is gonna be uh, a little useless at this point, but let's go in here because we gotta wait till day and I don't wanna sleep and I don't know, it just seems kind of pointless to me to, to waste a day away sleeping. So let's go in there and see what we can find out uh, while we wait. Desert Dungeon. Now this one's pretty cool. Hey, there we go. Let's get all, oh yeah, I'm gonna get all these items now. There we go, there we go. Already on to the first boss. That's what I'm talking about. Alright. Data entry 103. The recent store shortages are no longer considered errors in keeping. Materials and various tools are actually vanishing on a daily basis. A guard program is being created to keep an eye out for the intruders. Okay. Oh, that was a good hit. That was a good hit. Oh, shit. Alright, so there's probably going to be a way. I don't think so. Get out of here with that shit. Let's go back up here. I've got uh, three potions. Sorry, I, I popped something on my neck, you know, and it hurts. Ah, I gotta hurt something. Alright, let's get in here. Oh, wow, okay. Okay. Okay.
thank you. Thank you. All right, at least we got past the first layer. All right, the first actual level. Uh, that first boss was that hard, actually. And I think that it would be a little bit easier knowing that I just had to dodge a specific point. I think we can afford to head back. I think we got... Oh, see, look, that's actually... We got two things that we actually need to upgrade one of our pieces of equipment. So what we're going to do, we're going to move that. And we're going to move those just so I can get... One, a potion in me, and two, we're going to check out the new... Nope. Ah, dang it. Hey! Haha, -ha, suckers! Hey! Nope. Nope. Let's see what this first chest is. Oh, what is that? Cloth dye? That's kind of cool. What is this one? place at the bottom of the bag now, but I could have seen what that was. I kind of wait. Oh, 18,000 now to go back with a gate. So it's obviously going to be a little bit cheaper in this sense. 4,800 to just go back all together. Oh. Let's just go back. I don't want to chance. Oh, I could have picked up his stuff. I really don't want to chance it at this point. We've gotten pretty far in the game so far, and all we did was come in here to mess around until we get daytime. Uh, so imagine that. Hey, look at that. It's daytime. So <clears throat> let's jump on in to the uh, first off, the blacksmith. I really want to see <laughs> it, what, what specifically I can see. Now, here's what you can upgrade for equipment. Which is awesome, right? That's our first step. So let's sit here and say, yep, that's what we're gonna upgrade to because it's got the best armor. Uh, just like technically we have. Yeah. We have that as well, so that's gonna get passed up. Aha, that is actually really cool. That's a cool looking sword. Nice. Oh yeah, these are these are pretty cool designs. Like right, we, we've clearly got uh, you know, the fundamentals of this and it's it's actually awesome to see it layout so now that we know we've got gear that we need uh, let's go down here and get the shop owner because one absolutely hands down the bank goes that's nice right next to the board too that's awesome Here's what we're gonna do. We are going to give you a fine gentleman. Hmm. Yes, I am Edward, a new citizen of this marvelous town of Renoka. I like to call myself a broker. I deal in capital, making your gold work for you. Invest in my business ventures and I'll make you a richer man. A richer man. I'm busy with other businesses at the moment. Come again in four days and we'll talk again. Four days? Really? Can I sleep the four days? Or is that like real time? Because that is a pain in the ass. If, if that's the case. Right? Watch. Let's just sleep the day away. 17. Let's just keep doing this, right? Hmm. <laughs> 
The man needed rest, so he slept for four days. I mean, shit, this man's been grinding. This man has been dungeon slaying, marketing, fucking, you say, shopkeeping. Like, this man has been doing it all. I would definitely say that this is one of the games that I would get physically. Uh, right now I'm playing it digitally, but I would buy it physically just to know that hands down forever I have a physical copy and I can play this. I'd buy the, I would hands down buy the complete edition. No questions asked, because this is a game that you can go back to and just grind, just for fun. You know, and it, it's really interesting to see this game play out. I would love to see, you know, the sense of a DLC that takes you to, like, another village or... You know, uh, kind of like Golden Sun, like I mentioned before, where you get to travel and you get to do these greater things. And I think it's just unique. You know, maybe even in the sense of you can go to other towns and open up other shops and then manage different shops uh-huh. from different locations. So here we go. Um. Yeah. Okay, let him do his magic. I don't know what that means, but... Uh, <laughs> oh, okay. All right, so what we're going to do now, right now, is do one last sail. Uh, and we'll go from there. Oh, look at you. You piece of shit. I'm fucking watching you. You know you make me think of? Brad Pitt. Yeah, you look like a Brad Pitt. I knew it! I'm trying to take the most expensive item, man. If you had ran out with that, I would have beat some ass. Would have been so pissed. Well, finally I got some kind of price on these beat looking items. And now I can kind of get a better understanding of what this stuff is. So, fireproof cloth, magnetic core. I'm not selling the items that are highlighted. What is this? Magnetic tool. Hmm. thousand on that one. Take a hit for it. Okay. And I mean we're we're gonna put everything at a thousand just because I need I need an idea. Like the the bad part is, is like it's a shot in the dark with the first rotation, you know, and it, it just really sucks. Because unfortunately, you, you have. Okay, so he's telling me that this stuff down here is too much at a thousand. Oh, let's drive it to 500. First off, whoa, 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 whoa. 10,000. Sorry. Funny because no one's even looked at this one. <laughs> Wait, what does this one do again? Oh, it basically, if I'm hurt. Yeah, yeah, I got it.
Dang it. So some of these items are more than a thousand. Got it. for 3,000 just because it sounds fancy and I only got one of them out of the hole. Dang. See, I'm telling you. It's like the further you move up in the dungeon the more expensive the shit gets. So these guys are like, oh, this guy's an idiot. Dang it, man. I could be selling things for such a great profit, but I just don't, I don't know, you know? How about this magnetite? Yeah, okay. So the 800, let's do 810 because I'm petty. And because I'm pretty much losing value at this point, since I don't know the value of the items I just got from the next dungeon, I don't, I don't know these things. I have no idea. So I'm actually giving money away. See, this cloth that just went for a thousand. Thank God I got six. I got seven, eight, eight hundred dollars from that. Hmm. The fire gem's going for five thousand. I'm sure they're gonna hate me for it, but I don't care. Wait, how much did this tablet go for? Did I just throw a price on that? You see? Like, it's already like a gold mine at a, at 2,000. Yeah, I guess I could be pissed about that too. <laughs> yes, finally someone's buying that. There you go. 9100. That's what I'm talking about. Hell yeah. Get it, Grandma. Get it. I don't know how much that's going for. Hopefully that banker gets me some good money, because otherwise I give him all my, like, 20,000. The remainder of the money that I have left. So this is too expensive at 2,000. So let's do 1,000 for fire jelly or whatever. Okay, I had a thief. I stopped him. Only 39,000, but that's okay because I wasn't really looking to push that much uh, product. All right, and we got really, I mean, we got a few more things up here that we can kind of look around at. Let's hold it, sleep, and then uh, that's going to be the end of the stream. So, uh, right there is going to be the end of it. <laughs> okay. Um, so yeah, that's it. We are pretty much halfway through the game, maybe a little bit less than halfway through the game since there's going to be a fifth dungeon, but for those that watch and that those uh, that do watch later on, you know, uh, 
from my channel. You know, I hope you enjoyed. I hope you learned something from the game and you decided to pick it up. So, you know, definitely hit the like and subscribe button. Don't forget, uh, turn on notifications so you know when I'm doing this. And tune in next time. So hopefully we can uh, push through this game and push on to the next indie game. Thanks for watching, guys.